Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Shalom. May peace and blessings be with you. My name is Mubashir Max. Um, I'm a dreamer from Staten Island. I was born in Peshawar, Pakistan. It's a small border city between um, Afghanistan and Pakistan. We uh, moved from there to Dubai and I was about 11 years old when I uh, immigrated with my entire family to the United States. We came because my older sister, Aliza, she had undergone a brain surgery in India and the post-treatment was only available at the time in the United States. So um, my dad left everything almost immediately and we came over to New York um, and she was seen at Schneider Hospital with the best doctors in the world at the time for children's care. Um, when we were in Dubai, our parents um, went to hospitals there and the doctors at the time said that there was absolutely nothing that could be done um, because the brain surgery that my sister had undergone had some after effects, radiation effects that would spread throughout her body and slowly continue to deteriorate her. So um, my dad immediately thought that the best decision would be to leave and seek care in the United States. And when we came here, we were relieved to find that the doctors did everything in their possibility to give her the treatment that she needed. Um, and to that effect, she continues to stay alive, live uh, a functional life today amongst us as a family. Um, the doctors informed us that her treatment would be long term and that we would need to live here so that she continues to receive treatment. For that reason, my dad applied, just like everybody else, for the right papers with a lawyer. We, we tried to do everything in the system the proper way. Um, unfortunately, whether it was the fault of the lawyer or it was a consequence of the time that we were living in post 9-11, we weren't able to have the right documents processed and our application for visas was denied. And my dad faced the choice whether to leave the country um, and settle back home with the aspect of living a life without my sister or to keep the family together and stay here. And he chose to keep the family together. And since then, I've been here for about 13 years now. I came in 2000, and I've um, gone to elementary school, middle school, high school, and just finished college this past February. I'm a graduate of the City College of New York, and I've finished my degree in chemical engineering. So, what I wanted to tell you guys today is I'm really blessed that I have the opportunity to come here and share my story with you. You guys get it. We need immigration reform. And you're all members of mosques, of synagogues, of churches. And you're all members of organizations. And whether you're leaders, leaders or delegates, I feel that our job doesn't stop here. Today, you must take these stories back so that you can tell the members of your congregations that this is something that unites us, that families need to be together, that when we stay together as a family, we're together as a nation. So I'm hoping that together you'll help us with this message, and uh, thank you. Thank you.